hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan with her courage to plan today we've got to go ahead and fill in our mid-month check for the month of May now if this is your first time watching one of our budgeting videos I'll leave a playlist up above so that you can go back and watch some of our other budgeting videos so that you can see how my husband and I handle our finances I've also completed our paycheck budget number one check-in which our mid-month check, it mirrors our paycheck number one check-in. Now, if you are liking this monthly budget sheet, I do have my new paycheck to paycheck budget journal. It is a 12 month budget journal, guys. You get your bill due stickers and you get payday stickers as a bonus. And I also give you two different types of worksheets in your actual budget journal. You get the one with the savings section and you also get one where it has the savings and cash envelope section. So that just gives you a little bit of choice as part of your journal. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this mid-month check-in. Hubs Income, we did receive 1402 direct deposited into this account. And then for me, we received $700 direct deposit into this account. Now for our April rollover, that is part of our paycheck budget number two. So we are not accounting for that in the mid month check. So we can go ahead and total 1402 plus 700. So thus far, we're at 2102 received in this account. And then for our giving, we end up giving a total of 402 at mid-month and our mortgage 502 that was taken care of Netflix 1599 internet was taken care of YouTube now electricity car insurance HELOC AT&T life insurance lawn service those are not due yet so i'm just gonna put a dash here so when we get here to our groceries guys our groceries came in at a total of 371.97 which is amazing i'm really loving that because you all know that the grocery budget is a tough one for us guys so we are just happy to celebrate any wins when it comes to our groceries our house supplies now thus far we have spent $62.67 now we were over for paycheck budget number one but hopefully overall our monthly budget that we should be um, well within that hundred dollar monthly allotment for gas we have not gotten any gas guys we haven't been going anywhere so we have been saving pretty good there as far as our buffer we didn't have to use our buffer there was no expenditures that came up that we had not you know try to account for all right so what i'm going to do is total these expenditures and i will see you back in a bit all right so thus far at mid-month check we have spent one thousand twenty eight dollars and six cents so we're looking really good at mid-month now, as far as our savings, now the household that comes out at the end of the month is automatically transferred from our joint checking account to this joint savings account. So we don't have to worry about that, but the son's tuition and vacation, they were taken care of. So those totals are 150 and 100, $250 thus far. And then for our HELOC extra debt, the $50 at mid month that was set aside. So we can go ahead and fill in our mid-month check-in section down here on our budget worksheet. So right now it says income, we're at 2102. And then the giving, we're at 402. And then our expenses came in at $1,028.06. And then the savings came in at $250. And our extra debt at $50. So let's crunch these numbers here. 2102 and it says minus 402 minus 1028.06 minus 250 minus 50. So we have remaining thus far at mid month $371.94, which is awesome. So we are looking really good thus far for mid month check. 
again we came in below at the groceries um, which we are super excited about that and so we are definitely below for the giving thus far so hopefully we can end may on a positive note all right guys so let me know down in the comment section how is your may budget going thus far all right you already know the deal i will see you later bye